to spend your money, so I opened an account and I'm putting the money that you sent home to me into the bank for you when you get home. I wish that you could be home for Christmas. That would be the greatest thing in the world. Everybody's anxious to get home, get back to their families and their girls. But while we're over here, we're not wasting away thinking about it. We're glad and proud in a way that's different than, uh, than the pride you usually think of. I don't know, it's difficult to explain. Maybe I can do a better job on another tape sometime. These tapes, I assume these tapes were long gone. I never even considered the possibility they'd still be around. Then I met Cookie in 97, and I, <laughs> I couldn't believe that she had those tapes. I personally think that what he did with the tape recorder was practice. I think it would have been his portfolio when he came home. You know, he was going in radio when he came home, and he was just going to take that around and play it and say, see, this is what I can do. The uh, rest of the tape here on the side are sounds as I recorded them when they called 100% alert, which is pretty rare. I guess referred to as a probe. So what the NVA were doing is they were looking for a weakness. And that whole battle was taking place 30 yards from Mike and I. Hey, Carter. How many of you over there? Three of you? Three of you in that hole? Okay. outgoing or incoming, no words passed down like that. The illumination is being kept up every once in a while, a 16 millimeter mortar mission.